But on Sanders, so I'm, I'm not doubting. I know what's out there. Most people think he's going to leave, and I get that. And I'm sort of with them, but not quite after being at the combine. What we did here is it, the Eagles have interest in resigning, but at their price, we don't know what their price is. It's too early to know that. Uh, but talking to a bunch of teams, like they're here, like they they these teams know each other. Like they kind of know what's they kind of know what what the although the numbers aren't being exchanged, they just kind of know that some stuff. And hearing from a couple of teams, basically what you and I have heard, that don't discount him coming back. I mean, it, now again, if he wants ten million or more, obviously he's not coming back. But if, if they could get him at like a James Conner contract, which I talked about in the fall, I never thought it would be realistic. I was just throwing it out there. But it's six or seven million a year. I mean, how could you? It, it, again, if it goes that way, we don't know if it will. But if it does, if you're the Eagles, how would you not bring him back at us? Um, I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, what do you want? I'm torn on this I'm because not... you know my my sourcing comes from people just familiar with the Eagles and looking at the organization, yeah. sort of like what we did, and they're wondering how you justify even paying James Conner money to a guy who you're slowly phasing out. I mean, James Conner got overpaid, right. but at least he was going to be you know, the main back in that Cardinals backfield. Whereas I guess if you bring, you can bring him back, he's still your main back, but my, the, all their, all of their language, the, all their actions. I mean, what did he play? 57% of the snaps. So he's just a few percentage points about yeah, being away from it. somebody else being just as, as influential as him in the backfield. 